Good afternoon students. Today we are going to learn standard 3 EVS lesson number 26 as we go from the 3rd to the 4th standard. This lesson gives us the gist of the whole textbook. What we have learnt in the whole textbook that we are going to learn in this one lesson or we are going to revise what we have learnt in this textbook. When you are grown up, what do you want to be? In a previous lesson, you drew a picture of how you would look after 20 years. That was imaginary because no one knows how you will look after 20 years. However, what do you wish to be when you grow up? Here the question is what do you want to become? When you grow up, what do you want to become? What do you want to achieve? That is something you can decide for yourself. But to achieve it, you must learn a lot. You will have to work very hard. Learning does not mean only going to school. We learn at school of course. But we also learn from our elders at home. We can learn from the environment too. That is why we study the environment. Caring for the environment. Our environment does not belong to us alone. It belongs to others too. It takes care of all our needs. That is why taking care of the environment is our duty. We must take care of ourselves, our home and our school to begin with. Then all our surroundings will become beautiful. We must use the things we receive from the environment carefully. That is why we must never waste food or water. Children, use your brain power and answer these questions. What will happen if we pluck flowers in a public garden? When we pluck flowers from a plant, it harms the plant and in turn it will affect the environment. What will happen if we throw garbage from our homes on the road? Any waste or garbage needs to be disposed of properly. If we throw them on the road, it will cause damage to public hygiene, which in turn will create many diseases. Why must we not carve our names on the walls of the historical monuments? Historical monuments are our national heritage and it is our duty to protect them. We must not throw plastic waste carry, plastic carry bags and bottles here and there. Plastic items degrade the environment. So plastic things needs to be recycled. So we have to dispose them separately. What do you like about your environment and why? We all are depend on our environment for everything. We get our day to day things, our basic needs, everything from the environment. So environment takes care of all our needs. So it is our responsibility to take care of the environment and protect it. Our house and home. Have you ever watched birds building their nests? They work very hard for their little ones, don't they? Members of your family also work hard for you. Yes, children, your parents and your grandparents work hard for you to give you a good life. You should be affectionate towards them. You should learn to respect elderly persons. We must contribute to the work that our parents and other members of our family have to do. We must treat all women with respect whether they belong to our family or not. Now children again use your brain power and answer these questions. Why do your parents tell you to behave yourself? Sometimes children your parents may correct you when you misbehave and you may not like it. But it is a parent's responsibility to correct a child because they want you to become a good citizen of our country. So you have to behave yourself. Do you ask if your parents have eaten well? Children let me know in the comments. Do you ask your parents whether they have eaten well or not? What can you do to help the adults in the house? How can you help the adults at home? You can give little things to them or you can give them a glass of water or whatever they need their things you can bring it from one place to the other place. These are little things which you can do to help your parents or adults at home. How do you help when someone at home is not feeling well? 
when someone at home is not feeling well children it is your responsibility to take care of them and pay attention to their needs and if you're enjoying this video then please subscribe think and tell what does it mean to depend on one another here children i would like to give you an example your parents go to work they earn money with that money they go to the shop and they get their daily needs or whatever things they it is required for our day to day life so here money is paid and they are getting the things and with the same money the shopkeeper he will fulfill all his daily needs so here everyone is depend on one another for their needs components of the environment plants and animals are all components of the environment we are also a part of the environment everybody should be able to live a happy and contented life everyone must feel safe and secure what we do and how we behave affects our environment try this apply ink on your fingertips get their impressions on a piece of paper do your fingerprints and those of your friends look different yes children fingerprints look different because everyone has got unique fingerprint look at two leaves on the same twig do you see any differences yes children even if the leaves are on the same twigs their size shape color everything will be different how to behave with one another all the leaves of one tree are not identical some of them are big while some are small some have slightly different colors yes children even if the leaves are from the same trees or same branch it looks different all the leaves look different all flowers are not exactly similar it is the same with people here also children flowers also look different they may be from the same plant same color but still even in their color also will be the little difference will be their their size everything will be different it is same with people our appearance is different from that of all others in fact our fingerprints do not match those of anyone else in the world there is something unique about e each person we should not consider anyone inferior to ourselves children even people look different the color their size their shape their height everything is different even the features of the face everything is different you must have seen that some trees are big and strong some climbers have a weak stem big trees support the climbers we must support each other in the same way yes children trees have thick and strong trunk whereas climbers they have very weak stem to grow they need a support so they grow on the trees or like sometimes we we also we also place stick and we help the climbers to grow so like that even we should support each other in our life to grow together Do you know India won independence on the 15th of August 1947 We celebrate our independence day on the 15th of August every year We must be proud of the fact that our country is independent We have freedom of thought in our country We have a right to choose what to study when we grow up We can choose our occupation All the citizens of our country have equal rights However Independence does not mean that we can behave as we wish. Look at nature. Everything in nature follows rules. Ants walk in a queue. Bees are constantly working. We must be good citizens of independent India. For this, we must have honesty, punctuality, perseverance and discipline. Good habits that are cultivated in childhood are of great use when we grow up. Children, one last question for you. Use your brain power and answer. What are the advantages of a queue over a crowd? A crowd is a chaotic way of life, whereas a queue is a disciplined way of life. It shows our concern for the well-being of others. It ensures smooth community life. So, it is better to form a queue instead of crowding. Children, with this we complete the last lesson of evs 
standard three textbook that is all the exercise question one answer the following questions in one sentence each question one what do we learn from the trees and its climbers answer one we learn to support the weaker ones and to uphold them as we ourselves grow question two how can we be a good citizen of india answer two we can be good citizens of india by doing our duties and responsibilities question three what is the advantage of good habits cultivated in childhood answer three good habits cultivated in childhood remain a part of us it helps us to be a better person as we grow answer the following questions in two or three sentences question 1 why should we take care of the environment answer 1 our environment doesn't belong to us alone it belongs to others too it fulfills our everyday needs and hence it is our duty to take care of the environment fill in the blanks a our environment does not belong to us alone b members of your family work hard for you c our fingerprints do not match those of anyone in the world d we must support each other